may be pint-sized, but it could pack a punch for some Saskatchewan farmers. A relatively new berry in the province is catching the eye of a Japanese pharmaceutical company. Here's Christina Haydanis on the little berry on the prairie. It's a berry the Japanese have been producing for years, but with limited growing space and a high demand, they've turned to Saskatchewan farmers for help. Haskap is you know, growing in Japan, very specific part of the Japan, so there's a very limited supply. But in Canada here, there's a huge land space and the climate is very uh, suitable for the uh, growing Haskap. And the people is really uh, working hard to you know, get those new variety of berries growing in Saskatchewan. Research shows the Hascap berry has four times the antioxidants as a blueberry, and many say the Canadian Hascap has a higher overall quality than most. The harvest is, is in July, uh, which is very early for a fruit crop in Saskatchewan, and, and the plant thrives in the northern climate. It actually doesn't do well uh, south of the 49th. The Hascap plant is very low maintenance. It thrives in all kinds of conditions, cold, wet, and doesn't mind the drought. Sullivan adds it only takes a few acres and a short period of time to see a return. It fruits very early. You actually see fruit sometimes the first year. Uh, full production by year four, which is wonderful. The Japanese company is interested in making supplements and then eventually selling the fruit in Japanese markets. It will take about 140,000 plants grown over the next four years to produce enough supply for their demand. This year, it's estimated 100,000 plants will be planted in the Prince Albert area. Christina Hidanis, CTV News, Birch Hills. Saskatchewan farmers have exported their Haskap crop for a number of years. But the berry hasn't attracted much local interest until now. As John Baglieri reports, the nutritious blue fruit is starting to whet the appetite of the local food industry. Ray Getz has planted 24,000 Haskap shrubs in his orchard. He says he's going to have to plant a lot more to keep up with the demand for the Haskap berry. We need uh, more fruit production. The 60-acre orchard that we're building isn't going to be enough for what the Japanese want or even what the Canadian market wants. Haskap is a fruit similar in taste to blueberries, except it has four times the amount of antioxidants in it than blueberries. It's been shown to do two things. It kills cancer cells and it stimulates the body into producing the anti-cancer killing agents that are actually already in your body. Get says the berries in high demand with Japanese pharmaceutical companies. But Haskap's healthy quality along with its taste is also attracting the local food industry. Jerry's Food Emporium in Saskatoon is one of the companies that has incorporated Haskap into their menu. It's a new ice cream flavor. It's a wild fruit, and when I say wild, I mean it's cool. Uh, you put it in your mouth, it's like the skin dissolves, just bursts, the, the fruit just bursts in your mouth, and it's, it's fantastic. I love the flavor of it, and the color, the color is really, really cool. The 20th of October, we have flowers. This plant for aliens, crazy. Saskatchewan provides ideal growing conditions for Haskap. It's indigenous to northern temperate zones and can tolerate minus 45 degree temperatures in winter. We never had a single uh, tree die over last winter and it was a really bad year for fruit trees like cherry trees and uh, apple trees. There was about a 50%, up to a 50% mortality. We had absolutely no mortality in the trees that we had transplanted and the ones that we have in the, uh, in the ground here. Getz believes there's a bright future for the Haskap crop in Saskatchewan. As for his part, he plans to be in a position to supply the growing demand for it. He says in five years he'll be able to produce 160,000 kilograms of the crop. John Baglieri, CTV News, Birch Hills.